Wilton Norman Chamberlain, born August 21, 1936, and died October 12, 1999, was an American professional basketball player who played as a center. Standing 6 feet 1 inch tall, which is equivalent to 2.16 meters tall, he played in the National Basketball Association for 14 years and is widely regarded as one of the greatest players in the sports history. Several publications have argued that Chamberlain is the greatest NBA player of all time. He holds numerous NBA regular season records in scoring, rebounding, and durability categories. Most notably, he is the only player to score 100 points in a single NBA game, and average more than 40 and 50 points in a season. Further records that Chamberlain achieved include being the only player in NBA history to average at least 30 points and 20 rebounds per game in a season, a feat he accomplished seven times, and the only NBA player to average at least 30 points and 20 rebounds per game over the entire course of his NBA career. Wilt had a net worth of approximately $10 million. At the time of his death in 2020, it was reported that Chamberlain's former mansion had been listed for $14.9 million. The Los Angeles residence was custom-built for Wilt, comprising of concrete, steel, and stone. It features 9,395 square feet of living space, a six bedrooms. Additional features include a pool, a sauna, enough parking space for 10 vehicles, and an exceptional view of the Stone Canyon Reservoir and the city in the distance. The home sits on 2.5 acres plot of land. As stated earlier, Chamberlain was born on August 21, 1936 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania into a family of nine children. He was the son of Olivia Ruth Johnson, a domestic worker and homemaker, and William Chamberlain, a welder, custodian, and handyman. He's a frail child, nearly dying of pneumonia in his early years, and missing a whole year of school as a result. In his early years, Chamberlain was not interested in basketball because he thought it was game for sissies. As an avid track and field athlete, Chamberlain high jumped 6 feet 6 inches, ran the 440 yards in 49 seconds, and long jumped 22 feet. According to Chamberlain, basketball was the main sport in Philadelphia, so he eventually turned to it. Chamberlain was a very tall child, already measuring 6 feet at age 10, which is equivalent to 1.83 meters tall. Interestingly, Chamberlain was 6 feet 11 inches tall when he entered Philadelphia's Overbrook High School. Chamberlain had a natural advantage against his peers as he was renowned for his scoring talent, his physical strength, and his shot-blocking abilities. According to ESPN journalist Hal Bach, Chamberlain was scary, flat-out frightening, and very few players at the center position possessed his level of athleticism, stature, and stamina. Chamberlain changed the game in fundamental ways that no other player did. It was also this period of his life when his three lifelong nicknames, Wilt the Stilt, Goliath, and his favorite, the Big Dipper, were born. After his stint with the Conquistadors, Chamberlain successfully went into business and entertainment. He made money in stocks and real estate bought a popular Harlem nightclub, which he renamed Big Wilt, Small Paradise, and invested in broodmares. Chamberlain also sponsored his personal professional volleyball and track and field teams, and also provided high-level teams for girls and women in basketball, track, volleyball, and softball. He made money by appearing in ads for TWA, American Express, Volkswagen, Drexel Burnham, the Tiger Clothing, and Foot Locker. After his basketball career, volleyball became Chamberlain's new passion. Being a talented hobby volleyballer, during his Laker days, he became a board member of the newly founded International Volleyball Association in 1974 and its president in 1975. As testament to his importance, the IVA All-Star Game was televised only because Chamberlain was also playing in it. He rose to the challenges and was named the game's MVP. He played occasional matches for the IVA Seattle Smashers before the league folded in 1979. Chamberlain promoted the sport so effectively that he was named the IVA Hall of Fame, and he became one of the few athletes who were enshrined in different sports in 1976. Chamberlain returned to his interest in movies, forming a film production and distribution company to make his first film that was well known as Go For It. Chamberlain had a history of cardiovascular disease and was briefly hospitalized in 1992 for an irregular heartbeat. According to those close to him, he eventually began taking medication for his heart troubles. His condition deteriorated rapidly in 1999, and he lost 50 pounds. After ongoing dental surgery in the weeks before his death, he was in great pain and seemed unable to recover from the stress. On October 12, 1999, Chamberlain died at the age of 63 at his home in Bel Air, Los Angeles. His agent, Cy Goldberg, stated that Chamberlain had died of congestive heart failure. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing videos.